Hey guys, welcome back. And welcome to what is going to be our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So, what I'm making is just in appreciation uh, of you guys and how awesome and wonderful and amazing you all are. Um, so, I'm going to make a project. And at the end of everything, I'm going to tell you how you, if you want to, can um, enter to win. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, what you can do um, if you are interested in receiving um, the gift from me to you. So what we have here is my into resin bird mold. Uh, this is the original. I have not made a copy of the uh, of the mold, so this is the original mold from Into Resin. Um, this is the the crystal, the the matte crystal bird mold with the long tail and the turned head and everything. Very very elegant. Um, and what I am going to do is I'm using just clear resin in it because again it is matte or frosted if you will, um, as you might remember from this word. Uh, and we are going to embed something in him. So, and of course I just cleaned it out, and now there is a piece of something in my mold. So let me get a piece of tape here real quick to make sure that it is clean as a whistle, because that would be tragic. Wouldn't it? Yes. All right. So now that we've got that out. All right. So cleaning step one. Step two. Very similar to our ghost in a cube. I put a heart on a stick. So <laughs> what I'm going to do is I am going to measure how far down I want our heart to be I'm right about there and then I am using my acrylic stick uh, cutter of choice pet nail scissors and I'm going to I know this was a joke last time everybody was like how many people ducked when they saw her do this yeah hey I did too so uh, what I'm gonna do is hold both sides there you go. There's the spare, so you don't have to worry about it flying off someplace and hitting somebody in the in the face. And then we have our little heart. So I'll show you what we're going to do with that here in a minute. Now, as far as the mold itself, it has been cleaned. And uh, since it is a handmade mold, I am not going to use heat on it. I am not going to use alcohol on it or anything like that because I do not want to risk... Uh, marring it in any way. Uh, so, that's that. Sorry, I had to pause there briefly. Somebody knocked on the door. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to pour super slow because you can see how clear this resin is. Oh, I see a bubble. Here, take care of that real quick. So, you can see how clear this is. I did run it through my airless. And so what I'm going to do is very slowly and carefully pour down my stick so I can try to keep as many bubbles as possible off. squish just to make sure that everything is okay. And I'm going to put a little bit more in. Now at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a silicone stick and put a dot 
of UV resin on it. So, then take my heart on a stick. UV light incoming. Okay, and you can see that I have stuck our heart onto our stick. So I'm going to put this down in the mold where I want it. And here's the challenging part, pouring around the stick. Because I don't want to put the heart in after I pour all of the resin in because I am afraid that bubbles will find their way in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the heart in first and then pour the resin around it. So hopefully we can stop that from happening. Now, one thing I really don't want to do with this particular project is I do not want to dome it. And why don't I want to dome it? Because I don't want a lip at the bottom of it. And when you dome things, it tends to leave a lip. Um, so I'm going to try to not channel my inner resin dermatologist and give this project lip injections. So we're just going just below the rim. And that way also we know that the stick is not going to impede how it cures the stick on the top. So now that we've got that in there, since I do not intend to use any heat and or alcohol. I'm just going to give a tap and a squish. Check to make sure our little heart is still attached, and it is. So now we still have room over here for air to get out. So Everything can debubble beautifully, and then we will uh, wait and see. So, yeah, I am going to go ahead and let this cure, and I will see you guys for the demo. See you soon. All right, it's time to demold. So let's see how it came out. I need to clean it up a little bit because uh, it got a little, um, there was apparently something on the inside of the mold that I didn't realize. So I will shine it up and take some pictures. I'm going to do that all over and uh, I'll see you back when I'm done. <laughs> See you soon. All right. I did the best buffing job that I could. It's got some bubbles, but that's okay. But there's his little heart. And his tail. You know, there's a couple of slight imperfections just because of the mold that I didn't want to go too aggressively. But... Hey, he ain't perfect, but I made him an appreciation. I did put a tiny, 
layer of uh, UV resin with a little bit of carmine red at the bottom just to even out the bottom. And that being said, So, if you are interested in receiving this little dude as a thank you gift from me, here's the deal. Please be subscribed and put a comment at the end of this video or in the just comment box of the video and put, hmm, what should the, what should the code be? Put hashtag potato salad, all one word. I'll, I'll put it up on the screen here for you so you know. Hashtag potato salad. And then what I'll do is I will wait until the... 26th. So four days from now, I will wait until the 26th of September 2024 at midnight um, Colorado time. And I will do a random drawing from the comments and then from that I will do a video letting the winner know who they are and who knows along with our little guy here may throw some extra stuff in there too <laughs> and then uh, once the winner is picked I will um, ask for you guys to, uh, the winner to contact me via email. My email is in the uh, description box, but I'll also give it at that time. But anyway, thank you guys so much for being here during the journey of the, the mold. You know, he's not perfect, but hey, like I always say, neither are we. So thank you guys again. I hope you like him. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Take care. Cheers.